Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of unboxing my AliExpress order because I filmed the first one prematurely. I didn't realize how long AliExpress took to ship and deliver, and I also forgot what I ended up ordering. So the first video is already up on my channel with half of the fidgets I ordered, and today is going to be the second half. <laughs> So I have six more fidgets from AliExpress and we are going to test them out to see if they are worth the money, worth the wait, and if you guys should order them yourselves. I am very excited for this specific, I am very excited for this specific package because it feels so squishy. So this is the first one we're gonna open. I brought scissors, I'm prepared. Ooh, it's a stress ball. It's a pretty stress ball. Now, I don't remember what these are called or how much they cost, so I'm going to put it up on the screen for you guys and let's squish it together for the first time. Ooh, it's a satisfying squish. So I'm pretty sure the ad for this made it look a lot bigger, but I am very satisfied with the product we received. Don't love the smell though. Oh my chemicals. Holy moly, it smells like chemicals. I have found that a lot of the fidgets that I get from AliExpress or Shein or from Shein, Shine, Shine, it doesn't matter what I call it. You guys will tell me down in the comments. But I've noticed a lot of the fidgets I buy from there or those types of companies have a very strong scent. And this one is no exception. Whew, but it has a great squish, so we'll let it air out and hopefully it stops stinking so bad. Okay, the next one. Sure. I can't tell what any of these are and they all arrive like separately, so I never know. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Some type of spinny <laughs> mechanism. I don't know what it's called but you can play with it in a couple different ways. I ended up getting something very similar to this at the teacher's lounge, so I already know I like it, but I don't have it in this color. And I love that it's kind of a mix between a puzzle, an infinity cube, a fidget spinner. It's just very unique, and I hadn't seen anything like this when I initially ordered it, but I'm really excited that the teacher's lounge ended up getting something just like it, if not better quality. This one, as you can see, is Oh. Okay, so the one at the teacher's lounge is much better quality because it did not fall apart on day one. Luckily, I think this is a pretty easy one to put back together. Maybe. <laughs> um, so I would order mine from the teacher's lounge and not AliExpress. On to the next fidget, again. No clue what this is. Let's open this bad boy up. I didn't even need scissors. Oh, okay. It's a keychain type of fidget and, oh yeah, okay. So this one kind of reminds me of like a gear shift in a car, if that'll focus for you. So it's very simple, very small, and it's kind of one of those like low profile fidgets like where you right now can't really tell what I'm doing. Oh, I like it, I like this one a lot. Put it on your keychain, fidget when you are feeling a little anxious, a little nervous, a little bored, and nobody will really know what you're doing and it won't really bother anybody else. So this is a unique, interesting fidget that I definitely suggest. Cause we're halfway there and we're on our way and I'm feeling, feeling. Let's open this one up. This one's heavy. Comes in a black bag. Yes, they are like specs, magnetic beads. Um, these are very awesome. I love these. I've gotten some from Mrs. Bench before. Hers are perfect. But I wanted to try out these from AliExpress to see if I like them. You need these to be a very strong magnet or else they will not be satisfying. And also, these are not for small children whatsoever. If a small child gets these and swallows them, it would be awful. So do not 
under any circumstance give these two small children who puts things in their mouths. But we are going to squish it for the first time together on camera. Awesome, I love them, super satisfying. I definitely suggest any type of magnetic bead if you're an adult or an older child who loves fidgets. These are ones that I always keep on my desk because they are like my favorite. But if you drop it, you will get magnet beads all over the place. So be super careful. And like I said, don't give these to small children. These are a fidget for older people only. For two life. Okay, so now this is a fidget for younger people. For my babies. I have been looking for a poppet bracelet for my boys um, to wear because I love wearable fidgets. They mean that they won't, it means they won't get lost, but it's hard to find a poppet bracelet that you can actually pop both ways. So I wanted to test out this style and see. So let's test it out. Mm, so it doesn't stay popped because it like presses against your skin. Hmm, I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't think my boys would wear this because one, it won't pop. Let's see if it pops just regular. I mean, it'll pop if you're not wearing it, but the whole idea is to be able to wear it. So, I'm sorry, but I do not suggest this pop it bracelet. This last fidget thing I don't I don't know what I don't know if this counts as a fidget but this last thing I am so excited about I saw the ad for this and I knew I had to try it this is what it is it's literally just this little square but let me see if I can show you guys what it's supposed to do okay okay let's see if we can get it to work okay come on the ad made it look so cool Let's give the table a little elevation. That's not my kid. It's not working. Okay, we're gonna give the table even more elevation. Now let's try. Ah! Okay, so it technically works. Let's try it towards you guys. It did not work that time. My goodness, I was so stoked for this one. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's basically just doing like little like somersaults. I'm expecting a lot more from this. So first, I don't know why I assumed, but I assumed it was going to do this on a flat surface. But it is not. So I am very disappointed. <laughs> With the fact that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It looked like magic. I'm expecting a lot for the price of this. I, I know. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> that's on me. Okay, guys. So as a final recap, the fidgets I loved. The stinky stress ball, even though it's a little stinky, I still love it. The magnetic bead spec knockoffs. They're pretty good. I like these. Liked the little gear shift keychain. I thought that this would be a perfect addition. But these keys, if they wanted to fidget, but didn't want to be like out in the world with a stress ball. And then as far as the fidgets, I did not like from this haul. You guys already know what they are. The fidget bracelet, it just didn't work how I wanted it to. This thing broke pretty much as soon as I opened it and he lied to me. He just straight up lied to me. But that's everything in my part two of my AliExpress fidget haul. If you guys liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Hit the note. Who's calling me? My mom's calling me. Hello? Are you I am. I'm on camera right now. I already did. Goodbye, mom. Where was I? If you like this video, I would like it if you would subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon because I have so much fun content coming out. And if there's anywhere else online that you would like me to order from, make sure you let me know down in the comments below so I can test it out before you spend your hard earned money on these fidgets. My hands kind of smell like that stress ball right now. So 
I'm gonna go wash my hands and I hope you guys do the same. Bye guys!